I often get asked what kind of computer should I get if I'm looking to get into online poker? And the answer is it depends. If you're a casual player and just want to play the game, or if you're a more serious player and you're looking to increase your win rate at any cost, that is going to be the difference between how much you're going to spend on a PC. Let's first look at some of the minimum requirements for just playing the game, and then we'll look at some of the more uh, demanding requirements if you're looking to study and be the best player that you can be. So first off, this is a Poker Stars recommended requirements for playing the game. So if you're looking to just simply play, uh, you don't want to download any extra software. You're not looking to track your stats. You're not looking to study all of the time. These are going to be the requirements for you. Uh, typically, you're going to see a Windows 10 or Windows 11 requirement on an Intel compatible device. Uh, it's safe to get a Windows computer because most of these uh, poker sites have software that are built for Windows. Uh, some of them don't even have Mac compatibility. So if you want to play it safe, I would recommend getting Windows 10 or 11 uh, at the bare minimum. And uh, it recommends an 8 gig of RAM requirement. So this is going to be overkill for some of the poker sites, but uh, this is recommended so that you're not experiencing any lag. Some of these poker sites have graphics. They have some extra uh, bells and whistles that allow a 8 gig of RAM computer to run smoothly. So that's why they're recommended. Uh, so yeah, I would recommend at minimum the 8 gigs. And then you have one gig of video memory, very low. Uh, compared to video games, which require more video memory and a nice graphics card, online poker is very easy to run. So most computers are going to be able to run it uh, today. Uh, as I'm making this video, it's March 2023. So yeah, I think uh, most computers are going to be fine that you can find. Um, but if you are looking for some uh, budget savers, some used computers, make sure that you're at least getting these uh, requirements. Uh, again, graphics card is going to be fine to have an integrated graphics card. Uh, compared to video games, you're just not going to have any intense uh, graphics scenarios playing online poker. So an integrated graphics card is going to be fine. Uh, but if you're looking to start getting more serious about online poker, maybe you're looking to track some of your data, uh, you're gonna wanna download some software for uh, tracking hands. Uh, software like Poker Tracker 4, which recommends a Intel or AMD quad pr uh, processor. So this is uh, more intense of a recommendation for online poker because uh, there's going to be more intense uh, background things running. So for a poker tracker, they're, they're gonna be grabbing a lot of the information from the po uh, poker software and saving it into files, organizing it. And so you're going to want a, a stronger processor for handling this kind of software. But again, you see the eight gigs of RAM recommendation. This is always going to be kind of the standard for PCs these days. You're not going to find too many PCs with under eight gigs of RAM. Um, and Mac is able to be used, but again, I just would recommend the Windows uh, computers. It's just going to be easier with different software. Um, so yeah, I would stick with Windows for here. And then once you start getting even more serious about poker, maybe you want to start running some software that helps you study. Uh, you can take a look at some of these solving software requirements. Uh, and this is what most people are talking about when they're talking about, you know, getting into the lab and doing work and studying. They're talking about using Solver uh, software. And PyoSolver is one of the most popular pieces of software for that. Uh, and this is the system requirements for that. Now, this is where you're going to start seeing some more uh, beefy requirements because it takes a lot of resources to run this software because the software is effectively solving a game tree that is very large. Um, and so it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish uh, when you're studying. But the minimum requirements that uh, PyoSolver recommends is uh, four plus gigs of RAM, which is very low. I'm surprised they would, would say that, but this is for running a very, uh, a very basic solution. 
Um, so as you get more complicated into the solutions, it's going to recommend a higher and higher uh, RAM count and so eight gigs is going to be the minimum for a decent solution. Uh, as you see, it gets up to 7.8 here in the recommendations. Um, but again, uh, just go for at least eight. Uh, I would even go as high as 16 because at this point, uh, the higher your RAM, the faster the solve is going to complete and the more efficient you'll be in studying. Uh, you can even go as high as 32 or 64 but uh, you don't need much more than 16 in this, uh, in this case. The, the processor that they require and they recommend um, is going to be an i5 or i7 uh, quad. So that's similar to the poker tracker recommendation for the quad core. But again, the, the better you get, the faster your solutions are going to be. So this is really a personal preference for you, um, depending on how efficient you want to be with running uh, solutions. But uh, most of the solver software is going to recommend at least an i5 or i7, uh, 16 gigs or, or more. And we can see that with the other software, um, GTO Plus, which is also a solver. And you can see that they recommend 16 gigs for RAM uh, with a four core processor. And so personally, I have a 16 gig computer. I used to have a 32 gig uh, computer. And uh, 32 gigs was plenty for running my own Sims, but the CPU is probably the more important thing when it comes to how fast uh, things are going to solve. Uh, so the, the better CPU you get, the faster it's going to be. And then the free disk space is important. It's not, um, it's not gonna take up a ton of space unless you're really building out a library, but um, having a one terabyte uh, hard drive or an SSD. SSD is probably preferred, uh, but that would be plenty for storing any kind of solves. Uh, so do you need like a $20,000 supercomputer, uh, the dream machine for running all of these uh, solutions and playing online poker? Absolutely not. Um, it's just a preference on how deep you really want to go, how fast you want to solve uh, the game tree. But if you're looking to just play uh, you know, casually as a uh, recreational player, you're not looking to download any software, then an i3 processor would probably be fine just to run the software, but I would just recommend an i5. You're not gonna go wrong with an i5. And if you do decide to someday maybe download some tracking software or a solver, the i5, the i5 will really help um, with that process. And, uh, whether or not you're going to use a laptop or a PC, uh, that's up to you. You know, it depends on whether you're going to be at home most of the time, if you're traveling a lot, um, but you can pretty much find these requirements on a laptop. It's just going to require uh, you to spend a, more money because anything that's portable with the same system requirements is, or the same system details is going to be more expensive. So this is just more of a preference again, whether or not you get a PC or a laptop, it really just depends on your lifestyle. Um, you can run both there if you have the funds, um, maybe when you're going to travel, you want to play on your laptop and when you're at home, you, you prefer your PC. Uh, having a monitor is going to be a plus for playing online poker because, you know, if you want to play multiple games at the same time, it helps to have monitor space. Whereas when you're on a laptop, you only have like a 17 inch monitor, uh, usually at the most, and it's a little harder to see tables. It might be less legible. Uh, but again, that's going to be a preference for you, whether or not you're traveling or staying at home. So. Um, if you're a recreational player, you really don't need that strong of a system to play the game, just to download the poker software and play right away. You could get away with like a Windows 10 uh, computer with eight gigs of RAM with an Intel i3 uh, CPU with 256 gigs of storage. Um, integrated graphics is fine. You really don't need a strong computer. But if you want to get serious and you want to start running uh, solvers or you want to start running tracking software, uh, get the latest version of Windows, something like Windows 11, I think is now the latest. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM at the minimum. Uh, the more RAM you have, the better your computer is going to handle solving the game tree. Uh, something like an Intel i5 or i7 
even if you want to run things smoothly and efficiently. And then I would recommend at least a one terabyte uh, SSD hard drive. Um, I'm not entirely sure if the SSD is going to help uh, things run smoother, but uh, there there should be some processes where the, uh, the SSD is going to be preferred. So I would recommend the SSD. And integra integrated graphics is still fine. You really don't need a good graphics card to run uh, Solver software or poker software. So it's not like playing video games uh, where you're going to need the latest and greatest graphics card just to run everything at the highest rates. Uh, you'll be fine with integrated. So I hope you guys uh, get some use out of this video. And if you want to know anything else, leave some comments uh, or questions in the comments section. I'll be sure to make some more videos about poker hardware. Uh, maybe next I can cover something like monitors or mice that are, are optimal for playing online poker for those that are more serious about it. Uh, but yeah, if you did like this, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.